Hi, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create this market research questionnaire in Word for free and from scratch. So let's open a new document and I'm just going to change the margins. So go to layout, margins and I'm going to go to narrow. That's just going to give us a little bit more space on the page. Then I'm just going to press my return key a few times to give us an extra bit of space at the top for our titles. Then go to insert, table, click on the drop down and I'm just going to insert six columns and then as many rows down here. Then I'm going to select my table, go to layout, go to height here and then I'm going to select 0.8. I'm going to do that just to make sure all of these columns are tall enough. Then I'm going to go to this align to center icon so that all my text is aligned to the center for the vast majority of it and then some of it will be aligned to the right for all the different questions. So to put my first question in the top here I'm just going to simply select all of the cells then I'm simply going to click on merge cells and then type in my first question. Then I'm just going to select this icon here which is aligned to left if this table layout doesn't appear at the top, it's because you haven't selected anything in your table. Then in this row here, I'm going to put in my answers. Now the reason I'm not typing all of this is because I'm sure you don't want to watch me typing everything out. Then in the next row down, I'm once again going to merge them. But this time I'm also going to go to height and press 0.5 and press enter. And that's just going to give us a nice little space between this question and answers and the following one. So once I'm here, I'm just going to select this row here and just click insert below and just keep clicking until I go down to the bottom of the page just to give me some extra cells. Again, I'm going to select all of the cells on the next row, go to merge cells. Then I'm going to insert my next question. Once again, align to left. But the amount of answers for the next line is only four. So what I'm going to do is select all of these cells in the next row down, go to merge cells, then go to split cells, and then in number of columns I'm just going to insert four and press OK. And then I'm going to insert my answers in here. And once again, I'm just going to take this row here, merge it, go up to height, press 0.5, and press enter. So I'm going to speed up the video now and input everything else Then I'll come back and show you how to deal with the border lines, the shading and the titles. Okay, so once you finish doing that, I'm just going to move the table down. If your answers go onto a second line, you can always reduce the size of the font. Just select the row, go to the Home tab, and you can click and change the font to any size you like. Alternatively, you can move the border lines by clicking between two of the cells, clicking on the middle line, and then you can move it left and right. So the next thing I'm going to do is just select the table, click on this top left square, go to table design, go to borders, click on the drop down and select no borders. It will take all of your border lines away. Then I'm just simply going to go down and select my answer line. I'm going to click on shading. You can choose any color you like, but I like to click on this gray here. So I want some definition between my cells. So I'm going to put a border line in, but it's going to be white. So the pen color you need to choose is white and the size of your line needs to be around three. You can go thicker at four if you want to, or four and a half. I'm gonna to go to three, and then I'm gonna click on borders, click on the drop down, and then I'm gonna select this one here that says inside vertical border. Click on that, and you'll find you've got this nice little white gap. You can try the four and a half if you want to, you don't need to click on the drop down again because this inside borders is already selected and just click and you can see they're a bit wider. 
Then just go along with all of your answers, click on shading. You've already selected the color, so just click. Then once again, all of your borders are white, so just click inside borders. So this part is actually quite quick. It's just click on the shading, click on the borders, and you're done, and you can move on to the next one. Okay, then we can just move this down a little bit more. And in the top here, we need to put in our titles. Now I like to use text boxes because they're so versatile. So I go to insert, text box, click on the drop down and select all text box, click and draw out a text box. And here we can put our text. Then I'm gonna to go to home. I'm going to select center. I'm going to select my text change the font to this one, Aroni, and then increase the font size until I'm happy. Then I'm going to change the color. Again, select any color of your choice, but I'm going to select recent colors. Then if I deselect this, you can see I've got a borderline. I've also got a white background. I'm going to get rid of those by selecting it and clicking on shape format. Go to this tool here that says no outline, shape fill, no fill. Then I'm going to copy and paste it by selecting it, holding down your Alt or Option key, clicking and dragging. And then I'm going to insert the word questionnaire. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of interest. Go to Home, go to Insert, Shapes, click on the square, click and drag out a rectangle. I'm gonna line it up with the edge of the table. Then I'm going to go to Shape Fill, and select my selected color and then select no outline as it will have a small outline color and then I'm going to go send backwards center back and then if I click on questionnaire go to the home tab select the font color and click white and then just move this down I'm going to make sure it's centered by going to shape format align align to center and the same with these two here select them both align, align to center. Just make sure that one's aligned as well. Perfect. Now you can see questionnaire is not quite in the middle. I'm just going to zoom in. What you can do is select this background square, click on one of the boxes at the top or bottom, hold down your Alt or Option key and it will smoothly drag up and down so you can put it exactly in the center. The reason I'm not using the alignment tools is often the font for these doesn't allow the same distance between the top and the bottom and often that will confuse the alignment and if I pull this up you can see there's a margin there and sometimes it doesn't like I say it doesn't align to the top and bottom so often you need to do that by eye and then I'm just going to scroll out then if you want to insert a logo at the top Go to Insert, Pictures, Picture from File. I'm going to select this one here, click Insert. Now don't worry if everything moves, just keep it selected. Go to Wrap Text and select in front of text. Then you can just resize it and place it wherever you like. I quite like to line it up with the edge of the table. Now I'm just going to group these three together. So I'm going to click on the first one, hold down my command or control key and just click on all of those elements. Go to shape format, select group. And now we can just move it down as one group. I just want to move this table down a bit more so it just even things out a bit. And move this down a little bit. I'm just going to deselect it and ungroup it and I'm just going to make that font a little bit bigger. There we go. So once you're happy with all of this you can go to file, you can save as, you can go and save it as a Word document or you can click on the drop down and select a PDF file or you can go to file, save as template, make sure you're on the templates file Make sure it says Microsoft Word template. Change it to whatever file name you need and click save. That will mean this will save as a template in your home page of your software and you can use it over and over again, make adjustments to it. It'll ask you to save it as a separate document but your original will always be saved in the Word file. If you'd like a copy of this but you can't be bothered to do it yourself, 
then I'll leave a link in the description below where you can download it. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please like and subscribe and have a great day.